Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rob. Today, we'll be talking about using loops with the Roland SPD SX Pro. So these are all loops that I made uh, in Logic, and I just uploaded them onto the pad here. So just four tips on what you can do with the loops that you got. So tip number one, changing the speed of the loop, right? So pretty obvious one, but you never know. So uh, in this case, I have this loop right here. And I'm going to turn it into this. Right? So basically, I just changed the uh, course of it or the pitch of it. Um, for the slow one, I just took it down five semitones. And then for the fast one, I took it up seven semitones. So they are an octave apart and they're in the same key. And the fast one is twice as fast. And here's a video of me showcasing that. Okay, tip number two. Uh, this is using effects on the loops. So same loop, different effect. And in this case, I'm using a filter, a super filter that is a effect on the Roland SPD SX Pro. So let me show you what I'm doing here. So this is the original loop. And then the filter loop is sounds like this. Right? Same loop, different effect. So let me show you what I'm doing here. Um, really simple with the effects. You go into output slash effects, go into MFX. And here I chose the super filter. Here you can see my settings in case you were wondering. And then uh, you go to assign. And I just put this is pad one. So I moved it down to M MF effects, MFX one. Right. Okay. So here's an example of how you would use that. All right, so that's really cool. It helps you kind of, you know, take the same loop, but, um, you know, be able to transition into the next part of the song. Speaking of transitions, let's transition to tip four, which is all about transitions, using your loops to segue into another part. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go back to my other loop I was using before. We're going to use this one. And then we're going to go into this one. But we're going to segue between those with a transitional loop. Something like this. Or something like this. Right? <clears throat> so let me show you what I mean. So I'll start with this loop.
so that's just an example of how you can use um i used four separate loops there to kind of segue into each part make it a little more musical and you know obviously you can use be creative with that use any kind of loop you want okay uh last tip tip number four is using the alternate layer function to go between two loops so i'm using one pad two loops two loops one pad if you will what so i have a video about this using alternate layers um on this pad and how you can go between two stairs or two chords or just you know i used a a shaker example so in this case we're going between two loops and i'm hitting one pad so it sounds like this So I think this is good. It's a smart way to kind of utilize your space on this pad. And, you know, if you're using one pad for two loops, then you got the whole other space to do whatever you want. And it's pretty convenient. But real quick, I just want to show you how I do that. Pad edit, um, layer A, layer B. I go up to the top here and I make my layer type alternate. Right. And then also another thing you want to do, make sure they're both layer A and layer B. The loop is on. And then your trigger type, you got to make sure that that is alternate um, on both of them. All right, guys. So those are my four tips for using loops on the Roland SPD SX Pro. If you have any questions, please comment below. And uh, if you want to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee in the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe now. What do you think I'm doing? If you want to check out some other videos of me using the Roland SPD SX Pro, I got the Roland Gaia, I got the Roland SPD 30 Octopad, but I don't have a Roland endorsement. It's okay. But I have a lot of videos of me using their products, and um, it's pretty fun. So check that out, and have a good day. Uh -huh.